Hello everyone, you all are welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss latitudes and longitudes. You know lines of latitudes are also called parallels and lines of longitudes are also called meridians. Let us discuss both of them one by one. You all know the earth is like a ball which means that it has no top bottom, sides or corners. So without any point of reference, it is really difficult to find the location of a place as well as its direction. To overcome this difficulty, we take the help of a globe. As we can see, the globe rotates on its axis having two endpoints or poles. The point at the top is called North Pole and we can see it is known as the North Pole. The point at the bottom is called South Pole. Here we can see as it is known as the South Pole. Imaginary lines in the form of full and semicircles can be drawn on the globe. The full circles drawn on the surface of a globe run from east to west. These lines are called lines of latitudes. The longest line that we can see in orange color is called equator. You can see it is situated midway between the North Pole and the South Pole. Thus the equator here we can see divide the earth into two equal hemispheres. The portion of the earth which lies to the north of the equator is the northern hemisphere. And the other portion which lies towards the south of the equator is called the southern hemisphere. The lines of latitude are often called parallels as they run parallel to each other. The length of other parallels start decreasing when we move from the equator towards the poles. So latitude is the name for a group of imaginary lines that run parallel to the equator. And equator is the zero degree line and split the earth into two equal hemispheres as we have already learned, northern and the southern hemisphere. And each hemisphere is divided into 90 degrees from the equator to the pole. There are several major lines of latitude other than the equator and the poles. They are Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle. Let us discuss with the help of a diagram. Here we can see equator that is at the zero degree and other than we have Tropic of Cancer in the northern hemisphere and the degree is 23 and half degree north. Tropic of Capricorn in the southern hemisphere degree is 23 and half degree south. We have Arctic Circle in the northern hemisphere and the degree is 66 and half degree north. Antarctic circle in the south hemisphere and degree is 66 and half degree south. Let us discuss latitude. Lines of latitude get smaller as they get further north because the distance around the earth decreases. At the poles the latitude is 90 degrees and the circular distance is 0 kilometer. Each pole begins just a single point. Hope latitude is clear to everyone. Now we are going to discuss longitudes. You can see in the picture, the semicircle join the North Pole and the South Pole and run from North to South. These lines are called meridians. We have earlier discussed that the lines of uh, longitudes are also known as lines of longitude. As I have told you, people run from north-south around the planet. They begin at the prime meridian and split the earth into east and west hemisphere. There are 180 degrees in each hemisphere. Here we can see both the pictures of latitude and longitudes. All lines of longitudes are the same length. 
there is only one important line of latitude other than the prime meridian and the name of that line is the international date line this is the 180 degree line in both direction so line of latitude and longitude are imaginary line together they form a grid which can be used to identify the directions on the earth surface here we can see the intersection of both lines parallels and meridian lines they are forming a network it can be known as a wire globe also so let us discuss greenwich we can see here dear all it is a place near london it is called the prime meridian the longitude of a place is measured east to west of the prime meridian if we move away from the prime meridian towards the east or west we reach halfway round the earth at 180 thus there are 180 meridian towards the east of the prime meridian and 180 meridians towards the west of the prime meridian here we can say the meridian which are towards the east they are marked with e and the meridians that are towards the west they are marked with west i hope you have studied so far is clear to you if you face any difficulty please write it in the comment box i will try to solve you thank you